uh open Please. access networks uh discussion um about do we need to limit the number kim uh you did a, a discussion about this that i had seen and um it's a i feel like this has long been something that i feel like like active versus passive i feel like is mostly an excuse for people to argue as opposed to like anyone that actually cares about whether it has any practical implications or not I, I think it's depending on what the model looks like. It's depending on where they are, what the the scale of how many people are in the area. It, it's not an easy answer and everybody wants to fight about it. And I think the thing that people don't get is that the people, if, what is open access? I think that's at the end of the day, probably more of the question than open access providers because some of these who are coming in, who the city is paying for the infrastructure, and giving you know exclusivity to one or two, is that that's open access? Open access. No. Yeah, so it's, I think that's more of the question than what how many providers are on open access. But no, th those networks are just four different companies with fiber strands. That's not yeah. open access. Now, the last time I checked, Paris, which has three or four million passings, had 110 ISPs. Mm -hmm. However, they don't all duplicate each other. They are very specialized. There's one, there's an ISP on there that only serves people who have diabetes because they do insulin monitoring. So they're very, very specialized mm -hmm. on that network. No, there, there's, I'm sure there's 20 who just say, here's your gigabit, right? Mm -hmm. But they have an awful lot of them that are just gamers or just this or just that. And, and so that way they're really tailoring to a market. But when you have 4 million passings, you can all get your market share. In little markets, all that happens is if you get too many ISPs, some of the people will just drop out because they mm -hmm. no longer have a good business case. There will come, there's a natural size where it's not worth anybody's while to have a technician in a truck in the town. So you just drop off. And so there, there you know, how many, how many ISPs do you really want in a town of 2,000 people? And I think that's the point. I think that right. is the point is that if you're starting up a new open access network, you can't support 20 ISPs no. because you have 2,000 potential customers. On the Utopia network, we have 180,000 passings. So you're looking at something vastly different yes. than you are there. And I think that's when I say different models mean different things for different communities.